rendering wax. At some point as a beekeeper, you're going to want to learn how to do this yourself. Here, I'm just weighing out my recent haul of wax cappings that I just rendered down that amounted to a whole seven pounds. Let me show you how I did it. The first thing you'll need is a crock pot or slow cooker. I picked this one up off Kijiji for $10 and it's going to do the trick fine. Once you have this all set up, I'm just going to add a liter of water here to help insulate the beeswax as it melts. Now I'm just adding in this cotton t-shirt that I sewed up to make into a bag that's going to be used to filter out all the impurities from the beeswax. Once I have this in now, now it's time to add in all of that beeswax cappings that I've been saving from my year's harvest. Just as a disclaimer, remember to keep your eye on this as it is melting away. We don't want the temperature to get too hot. That will lead to discoloration of the beeswax. But just remember that you have it on. So we're just setting it to low right now. Several hours have passed. This is a very low and slow process. You can see here what I'm about to do is strain away the rest of the liquids inside the bag. I'm using this wire mesh contraption that I built to do that. You can see that beautiful white t-shirt turned a very nasty brown color. That's because of all the slum gum and impurities that were in and amongst the beeswax cappings that you don't want in any of your wax projects, candles, anything like that. You're going to want to give this a good amount of time to drain. I usually leave it for overnight until I come back and check on things. You'll notice the bag becomes very hard and all the impurities are stuck to it. And all you're left with is a really bright canary yellow block of wax. Along with honey that you're probably going to want to dispose of because it's no longer consumable. So in ending this video, I hope you found this information very useful and you apply it in your wax rendering projects. It took me a lot of trial and error to get to this point. Um, after trying so many things, I found this is just the easiest thing to do. Uh, mind you, word to the wise, it's a very messy process. You can see me here cleaning up after myself. And this is something you're not going to want to do inside. So with that, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.